Good praises to Yahweh Ba Hashem. Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Achar Kadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. It means He is. Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son. It means He is who saves or He is who redeems. The Kadash is the name of the Holy Spirit. Let's just take Galatians. Oh, I was going to do Galatians 5. This has gone to Galatians 6. Let's go with the Spirit. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such as am one, and the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. So that's to say that in this hour, I think Spirit is putting, is, is sifting us. And we're all being tempted, we're all being tried, we're all being proved. If you see a fault in others, um, help, help, you know, and other brothers, you know, because this is talking to the brethren. Help correct it, but with meekness, you know. And also considering yourself, don't get too haughty and look down on someone else because they're fallen. Uh, considering thyself, lest I also be tempted. So you know, think that you could. It could have been you. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfil the law of of Yahweh Shai. For if a man think in himself to be something, then he is when he is nothing. He deceives himself. But let every man prove his own work, and there shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. So every man tests his own work. Every man show. Um, you know, through his his strength and trial and tribulation, show what he's what he's done in it, and and show how much he's put into the how much work he's put in. For every man shall not bear his, shall bear his own bur- burden. Let that him let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaches in all good things. Be not deceived; God is not mocked. Whatever so whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And that's just to say that we got to stay in the spirit. I'm going to jump to Galatians five. find Galatians chapter 5 we see a little bit about the spirit staying in the spirit Um, start with um, verse 5 Galatians 5 and 5 for we through the spirit wait for the wait for the hope of righteousness by faith for in Yahweh Shai, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith worketh by love. Ye did run well. Who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth? This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. So, a little badness start. Let, let a little badness slide because it will screw up everything. I have confidence in you through the Lord that ye be none that otherwise minded. But he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he be. And that's to say that, you know, if you keep in the spirit and keep your eyes focused on the Lord, the covenant and the protection of the Lord shall be with you. You know, and, and other people shall be thrown down who are against you. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I suffer persecution? Then... Is the offence of the cross ceased? I would they were even cut off which trouble you. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the Lord's fulfilled in one word, even this, thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And that's really the, the line I was trying to get to. Stay in the spirit. 
staying in the spirit is a is a protection. You know, keeping your head. You know, focus on the helmet of salvation and uh, and your mind focus and your eye single. And your faith strong. You know, the gospel of salvation. Um, the feet shod with the, you know, the gospel of salvation. I think I'm butchering that, but um, that is what's going to keep you out of the flesh. Oh, let's carry on for the flesh. Lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another. So ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, manifest which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. So if you're experiencing any of these things, the idea is that you're just in the flesh, you know, you need to. Focus your mind more spiritually. Envy is murders, drunkenness, revelings and the like. Of which I tell you as before, as I told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. So stay in the Spirit. I think with that, I'm going to shut off and say Shalom.